Hello everyone, I'm John and welcome to another Traverse video. I'm currently here outside the eastern side of Tokyo Station, which looks very different from the picturesque and touristy Marunouchi area on the western side. I'm taking the Shinkansen, that's the bullet train bound for Osaka today. I found it was easier to get to the Shinkansen area from the eastern side of Tokyo Station when coming from where I was staying here in Tokyo. Plus I've never seen this side before so I wanted to have a look around. Still got two hours to spare before I catch my bullet train to Osaka so I decided to stop at this Tempura restaurant just to get some lunch. They've got an English menu to make ordering a little easier. Let's see, I think I'll have the seafood tendon. I'm sitting right in front of the kitchen area so you can really observe the chefs skillfully preparing the meals. This seafood tempura don here at Tempura Kayaki looks delicious. There are a couple of large prawns in there, a piece of squid, Japanese whiting fish, conger eel, and a scallop. There's a usual miso soup and also some pickled vegetables. This is matcha green tea salt, which I've never tried before. I'm going to sprinkle some on my tempura here. I think this is curry flavored salt. Let's try it out on this piece of conger eel. I just love tempura. I love tempura. This is the Shinkansen concourse at Tokyo Station. You can purchase a ticket here, but it's probably better to get your ticket ahead of time like I did. To get to the correct platform area going to Osaka, you'll need to enter through the Tokaido Shinkansen gate right over here. Almost at the platform now. That's the Nozomi 229, that's the Shinkansen bullet train that we're going to catch to Shinasaka that departs at 1 o'clock. There are other bullet trains as well, but those ones are slower than the Nozomi train. This is the carriage map for the bullet trains. If you have a Japan Rail Pass, you can't actually use it to book the Nozomi train, but you can use it to book the Hikari Okadama trains. There's a food convenience store out here on the platform, and also a covered and air conditioned area where you can have a seat while waiting for your bullet train to arrive. They've got a really good selection of bento boxes, snacks and souvenirs to purchase and take on the train here at Delica Station Convenience Store. Because I've already had lunch, I might just choose a couple of small items. The train is just about ready for boarding. We don't have bullet trains back home in Australia, so I always feel a sense of excitement going on one. Ladies and gentlemen,
just arrived here in Osaka. It took about two and a half hours to cover the 400 kilometers from Tokyo to here. So that's an average speed of 160 kilometers per hour, which is pretty good, isn't it? And there are only about three stops along the way. I got off the Shinkansen here at Shin Osaka Station. Now I just need to find out how to get onto the subway system from here. So I can start making my way to my hotel in the Missionary Ward, which is a bit further south. Okay, I found my train. So I'm gonna board this train. It'll take about another 20 minutes to get to the area where my hotel is. This is the hotel that I'm staying at here in Osaka, Hotel Bloemen, and I'm pretty lucky, it's just right outside the subway station exit. This is a pretty popular fast food chain over here, and I haven't had Unagi since I came to Japan and they serve it here. So I'm gonna try having dinner here tonight. But we're getting a crash course on how to order a meal uh, in a lot of restaurants. You basically just need to get your ticket from one of the vending machines. I'm gonna get the unagi tonight. Let's get a side dish. I just want a miso soup and maybe a French onion dressing salad. I was a bit tired so I just had a bit of a nap when I got to Osaka. I woke up maybe about half an hour ago and I decided to just go for a wonder when I came across one of these joints. Um, the serving unagi which is grilled eel. It didn't take that much time at all for my order to be ready. It looks so nice. You can see the grilled eel glistening with that saucy place, resting on a bed of rice with some shredded scrambled eggs on the side. There's also miso soup and some fresh salad. That is delicious. Mm. The eel has the sweet kind of smoky barbecue sauce in the top of it and it's got that distinct taste of eel. It goes really well with the rice and the egg. Mm. This is the miso soup. It's got some bits of pork with it. Gives the uh, miso soup a different flavour. Another great thing about staying in this hotel is you've got a big grocery store just right next to it. There's so much variety of food here and the prices actually seem quite cheap. Look at how massive those octopus tentacles are. They stock different sorts of crabs over here as well. 
I think it's normal in Japan to have such an impressive assortment of seafood at your local supermarket. It's making me hungry just staring at these. These fruits cost quite reasonable compared to the prices I saw in Tokyo. It's still quite expensive though compared to back home. Seriously, they have so many different types of prepared meals selling very cheaply for around $3 to $5 each. If I resided here in Osaka, I would probably be able to get away with never ever having to cook my own meals frequently. I'm so glad they had a grocery store right next to the hotel. I just bought some supplies that will hopefully last me until the end of the week. Just want to give you guys a quick tour of the room. This is really quite a big room compared to the one I stayed at in Asakusa in Tokyo. Uh, it's a lot cheaper here too. Not only that, it's a fairly new hotel and you get a really good view of the city from here as well. So to the left you can see the neon lights of the Sudankaku Tower and the tall building right over there is the Abeno Harukas building. So it's right next to a railway station, so it's really in a very convenient location as well. And we've also got a brand new looking Japanese style toilet. The controls are mounted on the wall. And there's also a deep bathtub and a shower. I really like this place. It's definitely worth the price I paid for it. So tomorrow will be my first full day in Osaka. I'm planning to drop by the Tanoji Park area and probably we'll visit the Abeno Haruka's Observation Deck which is the tallest building here in Japan. So until then, thank you everyone, keep well and we'll catch you later.